Uh, good day to you all. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. And uh, for those that uh, were part of the initial training on how to develop a website in less than an hour, we apologize for one of the changes that we encounter. Initially, when you are developing a website, when you pay for a domain name, you instantly get the nom domain name ready. But during the training, uh, we realize that after the purchase of the domain name, you need to give it some hours or sometimes even days for the domain name to be fully propagated. Propagation meaning availability of the website for other people to visit. That means when you purchase the domain name, the address can only be accessed using an IP address. And uh, if you share it with other people, they cannot be able to access it. So the propagation is for the domain to be available in everywhere in the world. So uh, thank you very much for uh, being with us. So today we are going to continue from where we stop. A summary, what we did the last time, we purchased a domain name. After purchasing the domain name, we uh, paid for a hosting. And also, we have uploaded the team and the WordPress uh, 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 premoc on the domain that we purchased for Grema Al Haji. And uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, coming back to continue watching this uh, video. Uh, so, today is a continuation of what we started. So, the domain name has been fully propagated. If you remember then, during the last training, uh, we are able to uh, go through the uh, C panel, as well as after being into the C panel, we are able to uh, get to the IP address. But if you remember, when you put the IP address, it will not take you here. But this time around, if you type in the either IP address or grema yahaya alhaji.ng, you hit enter on your keyboard. Uh, the WordPress will take you to this, which means we are setting up the WordPress installation. And if you could remember, we have created a database, we have created a username, and we have granted it permission. And if you are watching for the first time, I will advise you to look at the side of this video. That is the first video where we took around 40 minutes setting up email system, setting up the domain, uploading the WordPress. Uh, so, I have my username for the database, and we have our database name. So, when you are setting up the WordPress, it will ask you to set up that. So, click on continue. I already have the uh, username and the database, as you can see. We need to provide with a database name, uh, database username, password, and the host. And we have all this. So, click on let go. Okay, so when you come here, you need to provide with the database name. Like I've said, I have the database name, and this is the database name, which is Gremaya underscore storage. The same thing with the username, and I have the password with me. So I will copy the password and paste it. Normally, the uh, database host is local host, so don't change it. Don't change the host. Always leave it as it is. Also, the table prefix. This is how your table will be on the database, but you should always leave it to start with WP. It means this is a WordPress table. But similarly, you can be able to uh, give it a different name, give it a different prefix. That means the database tables will start with this. Maybe if I have a table called pages, if I'm creating a pages on the website, the page, the database table that contains those uh, 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 data, the table will start with WP underscore pages. Okay, so I would recommend you leave it like this unless you want to have a multiple WordPress on the same uh, domain name. So you click on submit. So when you click on submit, it will, if the password is correct, you will receive this message, and then you can click next and start uh, uh, from where you stop. So first is the website title. So our website is Grema Al Haji. So I will copy this. Uh, you can define your own Grema 
Yahaya. Okay. Al Haji. Okay. So you need to also define a username so that whenever you are logging, you can be able to uh, log into the uh, WordPress for you to be able to do other operations. So what I will do now is I will create a username. Let me call it admin, but you can give it any other name that you think is strong, administrator. And uh, already I have my password, so I'll copy my password from where I store it. Like I keep on saying always, your password should be very strong. Then you should provide us an email. The email address here will be the email that you can log in and also will be email that you can be receiving update. If there's an issue with the website, you'll be able to receive the email notification. So I will provide with my email. Okay, then after this, you click on install WordPress. Uh, give it a few minutes. The WordPress themes should install, I mean the WordPress installation will be installed in not less than a few minutes. As you can see, we are done installation, so you can now be able to log in. The username is administrator, and I have my password that I kept somewhere safe. I'll provide, and then click on login. Here you go. We have Grammar Alhaji WordPress. So this is the dashboard, as you can see. Uh, let's try view the website. If you click and open a new tab, view website, this is what you have, Krema Yahya Alhaji. So this is the default uh, WordPress themes that come with WordPress uh, 2024. Uh, version of Efrail. So this is the default page. So it's a blog page. Uh, it's a website and uh, you can work on this, the default one. And also at the same time you can be able to change to different themes. So this is the default one. And don't forget we've already purchased a team. We are going to switch to that themes so that we don't use this one. But uh, you can use these themes add pages, remove pages, depending on what you want to achieve. But this is a complete WordPress Teams of 2024. So let's go back to the dashboard. When you go back to the dashboard, for you to set up the Teams by for chess, you need to go on Appearance. You click on Teams. When you click on Teams, These are the list of the teams we have. We have 2024 that is active. We have 2023 that is not active. We have 2022. So it means when you have WordPress installation, you can be able to purchase or get free themes and install it on your uh, hosting account. That means monthly you can be able to change the appearance of your website or it depending on what you want to really achieve. So, but this is what we want, this one. Abbas. So I'll click on activate. When you click on activate, a lot of themes do have their own requirement. This has its own requirement. Uh, as part of it, this is a video tutorials of how you can uh, be able to uh, use these themes. So as part of it, you need to upgrade the PHP version. My PHP version is 7.4. I mean, sorry, 7.1, 4.33. That means I need to upgrade it to 7.4. Sometimes we don't have these issues, but as this indicate that needs to be upgraded. So you need to check this very well uh, before you can go further and uh, do all the necessary things you need to do. So what I need to do now is to go back on my hosting account and uh, there are settings that uh, you need to change for you to be able to upgrade 
the version of their PHP. Let me find where the settings is. Uh, because if it's not set, then you are going to have a problem. A problem that uh, the page or the teams part of it cannot uh, be installed properly. So let me do a search and see if there's anything settings that I can use to upgrade the version of the PHP, which I know there must be uh, uh, things around there. Uh, okay, so what we are looking at is uh, multi-PHP manager, multi-PHP manager. So we need to click on multi-PHP manager when you click on that, this is it. So as you can see, we even have warning, deprecation warning. It means this version has been deprecated, so we need to upgrade to a higher version. So make sure you click on the domain name you want to upgrade and select the one that you are recommended to. So the one we recommended for auth, I believe, was 7.4. So we go and select PHP 7.4 click on apply when you click on apply try at refresh to see if it's okay from this end excellent so and let's go back to the home page the dashboard i mean okay when you go at refresh give it a few seconds here we go we don't have warning so it means we are now set to follow all the procedures so one of the procedure that you need to follow is to upload it's to upload the teams. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, uploading the teams has been done already, so the next part is to install some of the plugins. So these are some of the plugins that we need to install for this. So most of these templates, they do come with the plugin. Uh, some in the files that you download, some via the uh, installation. So you click on Manage Plugins, okay. When you click on minus plugin, these are the plugins. So highlight them all. Okay, activate and install. Maybe if one of the plugin is invalid, so it means you need to install it manually to see how uh, it will go. Maybe to find out which of the plugin is giving you a problem. Maybe you can manually install it when there's a problem. It takes a bit of time. Okay, so now this has uh, installed completed. So let's go back to see the other plugin. Install. This too has installed successfully. So after installing the plugins, you should always activate so before we are not having this option but now you can see we have import demos so you click on import demos let's see what type of demo that this has so these are some of the demos uh, that are available on these teams so all these are demos of how the website will look so it depends on what you want like i've said so if you want your website to look at structurally like this you click on it and it will instantly install your website so to save time quickly let me look at uh, something related to what grammar will be doing i believe grammar is a social media influencer so for that he's gonna have maybe things around forum or maybe things around uh, let's see other options let's see let's see uh, maybe news uh okay okay so maybe grammar would definitely be things around news and at the same time something like forum so let's see forum so click on import demo okay all right continue uh, this process may take time depending on some time your network speed and installation. The process may take time, like I've mentioned, depending on your network speeds 
and also the setup and the configuration. So uh, let's uh, sit back and uh, give it some few seconds. Excellent, so it has installed successfully. So now let's visit the website and find out what the website will look like. Uh, for the first loading, it may take a bit of time because the, sometimes there may be some huge files, so it may take time. This is a complete website for Grammar Al Haji blocks. So this is how easy it is for you to work with a WordPress team. It means I have a complete website. All that I need to do is to change some of those things that I want, don't want. Edit all this, customize it. To do the customization, you need to go back to the dashboard. Okay, when you go back to the dashboard, let's take example. I want to work around uh, what is there or what is here, all this. It means to do this, I need to go on pages. Let me open in a different page, I mean in a different tab. I have three pages. Uh, if you go back to the website, sorry, this is the old one. If you come back, you find out what you have is home, forum, news, contact us. And each page, when you click on it, it will give you what is there. So this is what the informations that are there under the forum. So. And also, you click on news, you can be able to see different news. So it's definitely different things that somebody can be able to uh, work with. And at the same time, you can be able to edit a lot of this news. So let's take example that we don't want to see any news. So we can go back to the page and uh, uh, click on news. Where is news? So news sometimes can be called as post, so click on post, okay, so these are the first, so what I want to do, I want to highlight all, okay, move to trash, if you move to trash, it's not deleting, it's in the trash, uh, in the trash, you can go back later and bring it back, so I just want to delete it all, so that we can see how powerful the WordPress is for you to manage easy website without having to bother yourself about anybody, so you see, so it means as easy as that, you can be able to create your news, you can be able to edit it. Let's say I want to create my own news. I'll click on new first, okay. Mm. I may decide to use this view, but for the purpose of quick uh, guide, I will just put test news. This is the description, I mean, this is the heading while this is the description. And you can be able to add image for the news. So if I want to add an image, I can check from the library, those that comes with the, so I can take this one. And if you want to upload it from your computer, you can click on upload, where it take you to your computer and upload your file. So I'm going with this, use this, okay. Uh, you can put all your grammar, all the English, this happened, blah, blah, blah. You can put all the chunk of uh, news you want. You can type it and bring it in. So after that, what I need to do is just to click on publish. Okay. Publish. Give it a few seconds. When you go back to Grammar Al Haji news, here we have what we publish. So it means whatever is in WordPress is easy. It doesn't have to be an IT expert. You don't have to be in the IT. When you have your business, you can do it. I'm not doing this to say that Guys, this IT is for everybody. Information technology is a, is a skill that we are required to have the knowledge in managing uh, content and all that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have a problem, you can comment on that, the video section, and you can also send an email to us for us to be able to support you in uh, bringing out your website. Thank you.